Well, hello there, people. <coughs> this is the old danger here. I'm going to prepare to replace this here uh, Fusion Tool 6 reel on an old fishing pole that your wife has gotten found of. She says she just loves this pole. She just needs a new reel to catch bigger fish with, you know. Yesterday we went on a fishing trip and this thing got the mine kept getting hang, hung up there and she broke her line so many times she said I'm not going fishing no more until you're going to until you go in Walmart there and buy me a new fishing reel which like that's going to help her catch bigger fish but we'll we'll get her ready there and let her take it fishing on her next adventure so I've done loosen this up a little right here you have to do that to get this thing out and uh, and the way you do that is just pull it right out of there like that. So we really replacing this one. You can see it's not a bad looking reel. And it's lasted now about five years. Pretty pretty decent. And now we're gonna be replacing it with this new one here we got from Walmart there last night. I think it was around 30 bucks, something like that. But it don't look like it come a new line on it so I think we'll have to line it here too before we carry it out fishing but right now we're going to just try to get this thing open it says it's called Abba Garcia Blackhawk and uh, yeah, it says four ball bearings gear ratio 4.8 to 1 so we'll see and just Check it out and see how good it is and how easy it is. Put on here and this is the way we'll do it. Let's get this box tore open and pull that thing out of there. Sitting out here at the picnic table close to the chicken pen there. So you may get to hear a rooster crow every once in a while. They've been crowing ever since 4 o'clock this morning. Let me see how I'm going to get in here. Look like I've got it packaged pretty well. I think I'll just slice it with my knife or like that. Put this down as plastic. See if I can't get it pulled out of there. Now I should be able to get in there. I'm going to have to cut here around the handle, too. <coughs> Y'all be careful if you're going to use a knife to do what I'm doing. I'm going to just rip this sucker apart and get it out of there. And there it is. That's a pretty joker, ain't it? Let's see here how she performs. Must be have the lock here somewhere. There we go. Look at that. Uh, uh, reverse handle. Uh, but I believe you can change it. Thing spins easy, don't it? Let's see what happens here when I turn that. We'll figure it out. Let's just tighten the drag up on it right there. Okay, well, that's not a bad deal. This is black max. Black max right there on the end of that. And also right here on the reel. I like the cover of that thing. Wouldn't be too easy to lose her, would it? Unless one of them big fish she's going to catch jerks it in the water. <coughs> I'd like to hear the story about that when she gets back. So we'll stick it right in here. And set it right down there like that. Make sure we get it started in there good, and then just start tightening this up. This is a real, this is rod has been around a long time, so I may have to use my pliers to tighten it up a little. Grab that right there. around the river and 
you was doing this, you'd just dump it down in some water there. Make that turn a little easier, get some dirt off of it. This is, like I say, this pole, this pole actually has been used for about five years, and it's been laid around everywhere. But with a new reel there, I think that'll make her happy. Right here. Now she's all set to go. Using a, let me turn around here where we can see it. Of course, it's made in China, this pole is. It's lasted a pretty good while, but the next pole I get is going to be made in the USA. You can count on it. I've got, a, I've got one that's nine foot long. This here looks like about a seven footer, six footer, something like that. But we have actually got it on here now. And boy, wasn't that tough. I worked so hard there on that, I'm going to give me a drink of this hallway and punch. Boy, that's good. Now the next thing is, I'll have to get some, this line right here, I just put it on there yesterday. It's probably a, oh, I don't know, maybe it'll reach out around. 200 feet that's on there now. I'm going to try to save this line, so I'll just cut it off here now and, and uh, I'll let you see her in the video when she's using this thing. We're going to go fishing again, another adventure we're going to have. Went yesterday there, we caught two, and of course, you know, she lost the biggest one. She just tells her stories just like most men do. She said, Look here, that's a big one, ain't it? That's the biggest one ever. I said, yeah, yeah. Bigger than one you caught, she said. I said, well, mine was about five pounds there. I had another video I uploaded there yesterday on YouTube there. Actually, I think the video is called Biggest Fish Ever. And uh, if you want to see that, just uh, check me out there. This is Adventures Begin Here. And... Uh, Appreciate all you guys. Hope you enjoyed my videos. I've traveled the back roads in small towns of Missouri and abroad, and uh, I filmed the towns, small towns. I'd get over on the river, drive the old back roads around the cemeteries, documenting things here in the Blue Hill, Missouri. That's what I love to do. And I just want to say for all of you that watches my videos and enjoy them, I appreciate y'all. Until we meet again. Thank you.